Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. This one is all about the sous vide 3.0. So let me show y'all exactly what it is, exactly what it does, and how you can get one in your kitchen. So the sous vide is actually a smart kitchen robot. What you do is you open this up, grab your trays out, and you get two of these trays with the sous vide logo. You also get this grate that drops in, and this keeps your food from sitting in the oil that's dripping off of it. This machine can do a normal cook, you can cook the sous vide meals. It can refrigerate, meaning that if you wanted to put your food in here but you weren't ready to cook it yet, it will refrigerate your food until you're ready to cook it. And then some of the cook functions are that it can roast, bake, broil, sous vide, slow cook, and reheat. So all you have to do is press one of these settings after you have your food in here and you're good to go. Now, you can use the sous vide with your own food but you can also use it with the sous vide meals, which let me show y'all what they look like. So getting the sous vide meals is pretty similar to other delivery services when you order meal kits. The only difference is this one, not only is it pre-portioned, but it's also pre-seasoned and everything is done for you. The only thing you would have to add to these meals is potentially like some salt and pepper and maybe a little bit of olive oil. It's actually dinner time. I'm about to pick a meal for tonight. I have green chili braised pork, pulled chicken, chili verde, and teriyaki salmon. I'm gonna go for the teriyaki salmon tonight, so I'll put the other two away and we cook those another day. So now that we have our meal, we have our pans, all we have to do is put the food in the pans. All of the instructions are going to be on the card. So it says prepare the top pan with the salmon, prepare the bottom pan with the rice and broccoli, and then load your sous vide. So let's go ahead and do that. next step is to add a tablespoon of olive oil to the salmon fillets and also to the rice and then add salt and pepper. It does specify that the salmon should go on top and the rice and veggies on the bottom. Now what we want to do is scan the sous vide logo right here on the sous vide logo here. And what that does is pulls up all the cooking instructions for the meal you're cooking. In this case, it's the teriyaki salmon. And the only thing left to do is press the button to start cooking. There was also some teriyaki sauce and some sesame seeds which the instructions specify to set aside until the, until the food is finished cooking. So the only thing left to do now is put away the little bit of stuff that I pulled out to cook and wait for the food to be done. Now that it's done, the only thing left to do is give the rice a stir, make a plate, and go ahead and eat.
that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed learning more about the Suvi 3.0 and all of its amazing features. If you're interested in getting your very own Suvi kitchen robot, the link will be down below for you guys to check out. If you have any questions, drop them below in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer. And I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.